Hey you guys, it's Taylor Lona. Please don't get a boner. If you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Taylor. Make sure you subscribe down below. Join Taylor Lona. Mm. No. <laughs> no. She, she wasn't ready. Hey you guys, it's Taylor Loner. Please don't get a boner. If you're new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe down below. Join Loner Gang. If you're returning back, welcome back, Loner Gang. We're back with another video, period. And make sure you click the bell for notifications on when I post on YouTube, okay? Okay. This is a tattoo tour, so I'm going to be revealing all of my juicy and sexy little tattoos on my body, okay? And I'm going to also be revealing my new tattoo that's right here. I haven't really been, you know, posting any photos or pictures lately because I've been trying to hide my tattoo and I just been saying like fuck it lately because I've realized that no matter how much I keep trying to hide my tattoo because of the outfits I wear like this one where I'm wearing something cute like this you're gonna basically see it anyway so it really doesn't really make a difference so without further ado let's get into this tattoo tour Okay, you guys, so I'm going to start with my new tattoo. Let me just put this disclaimer. I'm not going to fully go into detail on every single detail of this tattoo because one, it's not even done yet. And two, it would be a long, it would be longer than what this video is, to be honest. So I'm not going to do that. But I am going to tell you this tattoo is a mixture of Medusa mixed with Marilyn Monroe and some of my facial attributes attributions I'm sorry I don't know what I was saying just now attributions because I know how to say the word and it's also got the Ouroboros symbol if you don't know what the Ouroboros stand for it stands for eternity it stands for rebirth and it stands for it's basically a snake eating itself that's what it is I'm, I'm not even going to tell you what else it stands for because that means I'm going too deep into it let's move on to the second tattoo I'm going to show you guys what the hell <laughs> anyway so this one I don't know why everybody thinks this one is literally a picture of my lips on me. It's literally just an emoji I found on Google of lips. But anyway, let's move on. So this one I'm showing you guys is just my zodiac sign. I am a Libra. <laughs> gang, 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 gang. <laughs> Alright, so um, let's move on though because that one's it's literally just my zodiac sign. Okay, you guys, so moving on. So this tattoo is basically the inside of a dream catcher. If you're unaware of what a dream catcher is supposed to do, a dream catcher, by basic tradition explanation, is supposed to help you sleep peacefully. It's supposed to catch all the bad dreams, all the bad thoughts. You know, it's supposed to catch all the things that could be harmful to you while you're sleeping, like night terrors and stuff like that, or harmful thoughts in general. Like, I know we all have that little urge that be in our background here saying, oh, you should you should stab yourself or you should do this just some crazy ass thoughts say you know we would never act on or maybe some people do act on and that's why they go crazy i don't know but me personally i haven't really let me not lie anyway um that's basically what the meaning of this tattoo is <laughs> let's move on to the next tattoo okay so moving on to the next tattoo this one is you know basically self-explanatory it says diamonds are forever it's a little unclear because I got a little fat since I've gotten this tattoo. <laughs> Don't be in my business. Like, I know I got a little fat, but that's none of y'all business. Like, damn, shit. Anyway, so one of my classmates that was in my trade, she was really, really kind. And I love that she was always willing to help me. Like, no matter, like, I... I'm not gonna lie, I have some moments where I'm slow as fuck, which is why for the longest time some of my family members have been calling me Phoebe from friends because I I legit act like I am legit embody her and I don't even be purposely doing that shit. But she was literally the sweetest classmate I've ever had. Like literally. But anyway, moving on. So this is my first tattoo. This was Snow White. Snow White was one of my favorite Disney characters growing up. And then of course some roses. I got blue. I got purple because those are two of my favorite colors. And I also got red because you know roses are red. <laughs> Violets are blue. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> it's not a violet. It's a rose. But the fact that it's blue. I was thinking of roses are red, violets are blue when I got red, blue, and then purple.
Okay, you guys, so I wanted to take this time of the video to show you guys who did what tattoos because I had two different people do uh, several different tattoos. Now, this Snow White tattoo and these lip tattoos, those were both done by the guy Jay. I can't remember his information. He used to live over in East Baltimore. Don't know where he is now. If you're watching this, Jay, thanks for doing tattoos. They cool. Now, after those tattoos, all my other tattoos, Kelly Kells did them, okay? Kelly Kells. Yeah, he always bring my little tattoo visions to life. Sometimes I don't be having, like, everything all together. I'll just tell him, like, my basic concept or... What the hell did I just say? Basic concept. I don't know what I just said, but anyway. <laughs> he'll, I'll just tell him, like, my basic ideas or my basic concept. And he'll make everything pop. Like